Hi everyone, welcome to Feng Shui Cafe. In this video, I will share with you four do's and four don'ts when choosing your Feng Shui residential apartment. If you are thinking about buying an apartment, here are the important Feng Shui tips you need to consider before your purchase. I would recommend you writing them down and checking them off the list one by one during your house inspection to make sure that your future home meets the criteria of what's considered good feng shui. Rule number one. If there's a building located right behind the apartment you plan to buy, that's good feng shui. The building is like a person. It also needs a strong support from behind. Have you ever had this experience? You sit on a stool all day and suffer from back pain. This is because there's no support behind you. But what if you're sitting on an armchair where you can lean back and forward whenever you want it? This would be much more comfortable, right? This is exactly the same idea with your building. The building behind signifies protection and support like a parent protecting a child. Rule number two. It would be great if there's a building on each side of your building. The one on the left needs to be a bit taller than the one on the right. This is what I've mentioned earlier in my other video. The left hand side represents the position of the dragon, while the right hand side is the position of the white tiger. The dragon side needs to be taller than the white tiger in order to be considered good feng shui. Now back to the chair example. The two buildings on each side of the building are like the arms of the chair. It provides stability and comfort. Therefore, having a building on each side is considered good feng shui. Rule number three. When looking out from the building, you should be able to see a broad view and there's nothing blocking your front view. Just like when you're sitting in a cinema. If there's someone in front of you, so tall and that's blocking your view, that's definitely not good experience. This is exactly the same with your building. Rule number four. This rule only applies if your residential building is located inside a small district together with a group of other buildings sharing a common yard. In this case, make sure that both the front entrance of your building and the front gate of the yard is facing the same direction. Like when you are standing in a queue where everyone is facing the same direction. This allows the energy to flow smoothly. And this is definitely good feng shui. And now let's look at what we need to avoid. First, make sure that the buildings on your left hand side and right hand side are not too tall. If they are too tall, the energy from both sides becomes so intense and they create too much pressure on your building. And that's definitely not good feng shui. Second, if your building is located at the intersection of a crossroad, the intense energy from the traffic would have a negative effect upon people living in the building. Third, if there's a road with curving bend pointing at the entrance of your building, this is considered very bad feng shui. This is because the curving bend is like a bow and arrow ready to shoot the building. And lastly, as I've mentioned in my other video, there should not be a road directly facing the front entrance of your building. This is because the energies are like sharp arrows rushing directly into your apartment. And this could affect your health, wealth and prosperity. I hope you find the video useful. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel.